Hello, everyone. Welcome to Planet Webinar Series, Renewable Energy Network Management Solution, Efficient Off-Grid Application for the Smart City. I'm Chloe Su, the Marketing Manager of Planet Technology and your presenter for today. For today's session, we will start with the design concept of Planet Renewable Energy Network Management Solution and a presentation to show you the key innovations of this solution, followed by a live demonstration of the solution to demo how easy it is to set up and manage a renewable energy network. And we will finish the webinar with a Q&A session, so make sure to submit your questions to the chat room anytime during the webinar or to send your message to sales at planet.com.tw and we will have someone to help you shortly during or after the webinar. Thank you. Before we get started, Planet Renewable Energy Network Management Solution has long been unique and eye-catching in the industry for its continuous recognition in innovation, such as Taiwan Excellent Awards and the newly awarded Computex 2021 Best Choice Award. This solution also acquired one invention and three utility model patents. So we will soon show you in the webinar why it's your best solution for off-grid network applications. To start with the design concept, when building up smart city network infrastructure, problems occur when the power source is hard to get for remote areas or wide area networks. And this is when Planet came up with a solution to incorporate renewable energy with smart network and power management system for off-grid network applications. This solution is designed with a renewable energy PoE Manage switch, the BSP360, to directly convert renewable energy such as solar, wind, or hydropower to independently power the network devices where AC power is not available. And with the VPN function, the network is highly secured, whether for a surveillance network or to provide wireless connections. And the Renewable Energy Management Controller, the NMS360 series, is designed to make network management much easier. Through its user-friendly design, administrators can monitor devices in the network and the operation of the solar panel and batteries in real time, thus making the ideal design for wide area network and remote off-grid networking applications such as remote medical centers, natural reserves, national parks, and more. And next, we will talk in more details and look at the innovative design of the Renewable Energy PoE Manage Switch Router and the Renewable Energy Management Controller. First, we will start with the Renewable Energy PoE Manage Switch Router, the BSP360. BSP360 is Planet Exclusively Designed Renewable Energy PoE Manage Switch Router that's able to integrate green energy power system like the solar, wind, and hydro, and PoE technology. So it's able to power network devices simply through the internet cable without the need of AC power supply. It can support up to 200 watt solar panel and provides a total budget of 120 watt. It also has 24 volt DC output to be able to connect it to other PD devices. You can see here Planet BSP360 switch also features Planet exclusive intelligent PoE management functions such as PD Alive Check, PoE scheduling for easy management, and it supports SNMP, MQTT, Envif protocols, and Planet Smart Discovery Utility for efficient data exchanging remote monitoring, and control. Over here, we can see that Planet BSP360 adopts MPPT, the maximum power point tracking technology. 
It is an electronic DC to DC converter that optimizes the match between the PV solar panels and the battery bank or utility grid. So it ensures maximum renewable energy converted to your network system, even when green power supply is sometimes unstable. And from here, you can see that the BSP360 can be recharged by lithium or lead acid battery, where solar power is sourced. So the BSP360 will keep powering PD devices without the need of any cabling. And next, we will introduce the other important product for this renewable energy network solution, the Renewable Energy Management Controller Series, the NMS360 series. The NMS360 controller integrates SNMP, MQTT, Envif, and Planet Smart Discovery to manage network devices. It is able to control up to 512 BSP360 switches and 2,048 IP cameras at the same time. The most unique feature is NMS360V's user-friendly dashboard design on the intuitive LCD touch panel. It allows you to monitor and manage real-time network traffic, solar power producing, system power consuming, per poor PoE usage, and also battery usage to make the system efficient and easy to manage. Another key innovation of the NMS360 series is the sitemap function. It can allocate the BSP360 switches according to the field deployment and saves your time and cost of the on-site support and monitoring. So here we have a closer look at the renewable network management solution and with NMS360 controller monitors and manage up to 512 BSP360 switches. And over here connected 2,048 PDs like the IP cameras or the APs. This solution greatly enhances management efficiency for wide area network and off-grid networks. And here I will introduce the intuitive and user-friendly touch LCD feature of NMS360V in more details. As you can see here, there are three layers for a Planet NMS360V controller, the dashboard, device lists, and the device information. And on the very left is the dashboard. From here, you can get a quick and overall view of your network real-time status. And we will show you in more details of the dashboard in the following live demo session. And in the middle is the device list layer, and it shows five different and important power and data information of each device connected to your controller. And on the right-hand side is the device information layer, to give you more detailed system information of one single BSP360 switch. Now let's take a closer look at the functions on the second layer, the device list. Over here, each box represents one BSP360 switch. And by tapping on the right or left arrow in the box, you can have a quick overview of five of the following power and data information of that particular BSP360 switch. For example, here we can see that the generator power, this tells you how much power is generated from the solar panel at the moment. And this second one shows the total power usage of your BSP360 switch. The third one shows the PoE usage per port on the switch. And the fourth one shows the battery capacity of the switch. And the last one is said to be the uplink port. It shows the port 5 traffic. And from here, administrators can quickly monitor the large network by checking on the data and power information using one single renewable energy network management controller. Also here on the device list, we have designed the threshold selector here on the left-hand bottom. 
This function is for you to preset conditions of the devices you want to monitor. For example, if you want to monitor battery power under 50% capacity, preset this condition and use the threshold selector to monitor all devices that are not operating normally. And on the right hand bottom, there is a status selector. This is to see one out of five of the preset device power and data information for all devices connected. Next, we can take a glance of the third layer where you can monitor in more details of the current status of a single BSP360 switch connected. On the top, there are four pages, system, traffic, PoE, and battery to give you real-time information of that particular switch. And here on the PoE page, PD power can be monitored and managed. And we will show you how easy it is done in the live demo session later. Here on the battery page, we can see the battery capacity history graph, battery status information, and battery configuration status. This page shows you whether your battery is operating normally. The NMS360V also has a sign map function to show you where the BSP360 switches are located. And we can also use the snapshot function to get real-time on-site information when needed. So all in all, the NMS360 controller series are also equipped with user-friendly features like the setup wizard, event alert via email, and mobile-friendly RWD functions. Advanced security features such as cybersecurity, USB 3.0 backup, user-defined access policy, and IP66 aluminum case protection are also included in NMS 360 series. To conclude, Planet Renewable Energy Network Management Solution successfully integrate green technology and exclusive intelligent PoE management functions to provide users with real-time management over renewable energy usage and connected PD operation status. Okay, we will take a short break here before we go to the solution live demo session. And before the webinar started today, we throw a survey question to ask you about um, from your past experience, what's the most difficult problem when setting up remote area networks? And now we can see that from the votes, the highest vote goes to A, power source is hard to access. Um, and the second highest vote goes to C, existing equipment is not compliant with each other. Okay, and the third one goes to high expense to upgrade existing networks. Uh, I can see that everyone has been facing some um, problems with uh, setting up remote area networks. And I'm sure that after watching the previous presentation, you've noticed that uh, Planet Renewable Energy Network Management System Solution can solve all of the above problems, whether it's the uh, A, when the power source is hard to access, um, um, if you use Planet Renewable Energy Network System solution, uh, you can utilize solar, wind, or hydropower and store it for the battery, and you can use it for the evening. Also, if you choose C, when the existing equipment is not compliant each, with each other, uh, also use uh, choose the solar or any renewable energy to generate power and um, to use our complete solution to solve this problem. And uh, if you have problems with uh, the second one, uh, high expense to upgrade existing equipment, uh, with Planet NMS 360 solutions, no extra cabling is needed. And through PoE, power can be provided with existing powers. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us. And uh, we will keep in mind your contribution and um, keep on developing products that meet your demands. 
And also a reminder that our chat room is open for any questions and discussions. So feel free to leave us uh, your questions to the chat room or to send your inquiries to sales at planet.com.tw. We will have someone to answer you during or after the webinar. Now we will move on to see the Renewable Energy Network Management Solution live demo to give you a better idea of how this renewable network is set up. Now we will set up a solution demonstration to show everyone how Planet Renewable Energy Network Management Solution works. So you can see a common off-grid application where AC power is hard to get, while you might have the need to set up a surveillance network, a wireless network, or even for medical centers. For applications like this, use Planet Renewable Energy PoE Manage Switch, the BSP360, to convert solar power for your IP cameras or APs like this. Then use the Renewable Energy Management Controller, the NMS360V, to monitor and manage up to 512 devices for an efficient wide area network. Later, we will demonstrate more on how to easily connect your BSP360s to the NMS360V controllers network and how its touch LCD and management design can be very helpful and easy to use when managing an off-grid application. To start with, let's connect Planet BSP360 switch to the lithium battery. And after it's connected, the green power LED indicates power in use. From the NMS360V controller, we already connected two BSP360 to the lithium power source, and you can see that under normal circumstances, when powered, the power LED on the BSP360 showing that the system is working at the moment. And here on the terminal block is where you connect the solar power panel, and we will use a DC power to simulate the network as we are demonstrating this inside. And after that is done, we can add some PoE power devices, the PDs, like the IP camera we demonstrated here. Now that the devices are powered and connected, we'll proceed to show you how easy it is to add BSP360s to the NMS360V controller using its intuitive LCD touch panel and graphic dashboard. We have done the IP configuration already, so first, Tap the menu device list, choose management, then discovery sheet. You'll see two BSP360s waiting to be added. Click on the checkbox, then apply. You will see the devices added to NMS360V device list. If the status shows in green color, the green key indicates devices are successfully added. If the device is disconnected, the status will be indicated in red. Now that we are all set, the NMS360V displays three layers. The first layer is the dashboard. The intuitive dashboard allows you to monitor the network current status with ease. And here we can see how many BSP360 switches are connected. And here on the upper left-hand corner is the system event summary. On the upper right-hand corner shows the power produced and consumed history graph of all the BSP360 switches connected. At the bottom, event of each different BSP360 switches is updated in chronological order so that the latest update of your devices are easy to monitor. Next, we go to the second layer to see the device list. The second layer shows five different power and data information of each device you added to the controller. Here, you can see three boxes on the screen, each representing one BSP360. Tap the left or right arrow at the bottom of each box to see immediate power and data status of each BSP360 switch. 
For example, here we can see generator power, total power usage, purport PoE power usage, battery capacity, and uplink port 5 traffic upload-download information. From the graphic device list, we can monitor the network with ease. Over here, we can also use the threshold selector. This is when you preset some conditions to be monitored for the devices. And here, with the status selector, you can pick one of the power or data functions you want to monitor for all the devices. The third level is the device information. We can see four pages that helps you monitor the switch in more details, system, traffic, PoE, and battery. Tap on the system page. We can see the virtual panel of the BSP360 you chose. It shows poor in connection in green and orange to indicate PoE in use. Generation power and battery info are also here on the virtual panel. At the bottom, you can see the system information and the network status page also provide the remote configuration function. From here, we go directly to the PoE page, and we will demonstrate one of the many useful functions of NMS 360V to remotely turn on or off the power of each BSP360 port. This function is helpful when you want to remotely reboot devices to reduce loading. Simply choose the port you want to turn off, tap on PoE, it's done. If you look at the BSP360 switch itself, both the PoE LED and Link Act are off. And we can also turn it on in the same way. You can see it here on the switch that PoE LED and Link Act is back on track. And now we can take a look at the battery page. This page shows if your battery is operating normally. From here, you can see the history graph and battery status information. You can also do the battery configuration from here. Now we will do a quick demo of the snapshot function. Tap on menu to see where your switch is on the map. On the BSP360, you can see a yellow circle with the number of IP cameras on it. Each BSP360 switch can add up to four IP cameras. Tap on the yellow circle for the snapshot function. Then take a snapshot of the camera you wish to monitor. This function is useful to check if the IP camera connected is operating normally. Also, when the operation power is not enough, we can use the snapshot function to see immediate on-site situation. All in all, we have demonstrated an off-grid application with Planet Renewable Energy Network Management Solution and some of its innovative features. Okay, thank you for watching. Now we will move on to the Q&A session for this webinar. And here we will start with some of the questions left with us from the previous inquiries first. Okay, so for the first Q&A question, we have someone here asking, how long does the BSP360 take to send a raw data stream to NMS360? Okay, so for um, a raw data stream of the BSP360, like the voltage, or current to send to NMS 360 um, takes every minute. So uh, to meet the requirement of the IoT devices. Okay, for the second question here, uh, we have someone asking, can the BSP 360 work without battery? And what is the battery capacity like? Okay, so uh, from the previous presentation, you can see that the MPPT charge control in the BSP360 must work with 24 volt battery for safety batteries. And uh, in order to provide a stable 24 volt um, to the BSP360 and DC output devices. And because the BSP360 comes with a power management functions, uh, it will automatically shut down once the zero battery capacity is detected. And basically, uh, a battery capacity of about 24 volts 
100 amp hour is standard for a consumption of about 70 watts. Okay, for our next question, um, each NMS 360 unit can manage a maximum of 512 BSP units. Can all 512 BSP units be set up in one network? Okay, so the answer is yes. The all 512 BSP units can be managed in one network. But um, it will be too many units to manage in one same network, so it will be preferred to set the network segments or subnets within a larger network to do the job by classify the network segments as A, B, or C. So the NMS360 can easily and efficiently manage all 512 BSP units deploying in different network segments. Okay, for the next question here, can the NMS360 be used to control another remote site via cloud? Okay, um, the answer is no for the moment. Um, but VPN can be utilized to remote control and operate in different sites. So you can to refer to um, Planet VR series router to implement this application. And the cloud-based version is also expected to be uh, another alternative in the near future. Okay, now for another question here, uh, someone wished to know if we can share some practical cases. Okay, so um, for um, the BSP, we can install on the street lamp for one case, and um, it's for uh, 802.38 PoE ports can be connected to IP cameras or Wi-Fi APs. Another case is that um, for a small weather monitoring station, in this case, the power for each device comes from the solar panel in the day, and the power of the device comes from the cable in the night. And the battery can be fully charged in the night for tomorrow's use. And the NMS360 can monitor the BSP360 status, like the power usage, the PoE usage, and battery capacity to make sure that each device work normally. Okay, uh, another, uh, another case here, uh, if you want to use a system in a solar container house, you can put four of the IP cameras on four corners of the ceiling. And um, this monitoring system can be used its own independent off-grid circuit. And if you want, you can copy this and monitor them by the NMS360 for small and medium isolation stations or for uh, temporary medical stations. Okay, and uh, another question here. Is there an NMS360 or BSP360 support for sharing data with third-party software for integration? Okay, uh, for this one here, um, the NMS360 or BSP360 currently does not have any API that support data transmission for third-party software, but uh, it can be integrated and provided as needed in the future. We can share by getting API integrated as API can be set for security. Okay, now we will go on to uh, some of the questions uh, sent to us uh, this morning, and uh, we'll see if we can get back to as many questions as possible today. So uh, here someone asks, is this a license-based application? Okay, um, the answer is no. There is no need for extra license. Uh, users can apply the NMS 360s immediately. Okay, we have another question here uh, from Korea. It says, in Korea, generation time is small, about three to four hours, and uh, long cloudy days, uh, about 14 days. So big PoE is needed, and if normal PoE cannot be applied here. Okay, uh, in this case, we would recommend you to install the solar power system where um, it's sunny time for at least eight hours a day 
to get the best result. Okay, and um, we still have a little time, so uh, let's answer one more question. And someone here asked us if we have IoT solution for weather include uh, in the renewable energy management solution, like the weather house, a weather station, um, light intensity, wind speed. Okay. Um, so this one is a good suggestion for us, and we will definitely consider this in the near future. Thank you. Okay, so um, that's about it for our webinar. And uh, if we didn't have time to get back to all of your questions, um, please uh, leave them in the chat room or send it to sales at planet.com.tw. We will try to get some helps to get back to your answers. And um, uh, if you wish to know more about Planet, visit our website at www.planet.com. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.